That one has bombs in it. Oh, that, well, what's the point of circling around if it's gonna shoot me anyways? That's retarded. Die. Alright, I know there is some actual one-ups in these buildings, so... Go find your free men, so... See, there it is, right there. Awesome, right? There's a few more, but I don't know where they are. Is it a bomb truck? No, that's garbage. So you just gotta look behind the trucks and see if they have garbage or nuclear parts. If they have garbage, then look, being in behind will look a little brownish. I guess I'll finish off my missiles with these buildings since there's some ammo right there. Bitch. Yeah, I'm wasting, but it's okay. There's ammo right here. Alright, so I know where... I, this should be one up here, I believe. This is the one I came by. This should be the one I came by. Should. I I, I, I want to check before I shoot. Once he goes down, then I have to sit around and wait some more. That's another part I hate about the game. Or at least this mission. You have to sit down and wait. Once he turns around, shows his back, and find out that it's really nukes. Nuclear parts. Start attacking. That is garbage. God damn now. Okay, there's some little bit. My god, it's so hard to hit the damn building. Nothing. Wait so much ammo just trying to blow it up. Prisoner of War, POW. Let him miss you and it's all good. I mean, that's basically the strategy. You just try to dodge them, just go around them, or something like that. Once they fire, you, you take the advantage of their reload time and take, and take them out. Of course, like I said, if you had the SNES, you had the ability to use that circle strafe type technique with the triggers. Not triggers. Shoulder buttons. Triggers don't get invented for a while. <laughs> bad guy. Oh, he's bad guy. Carrying some nukes! Full armor. Uh, hold up. Uh, maybe I should. Then I got the fuel for when I come back down. This part can be a bit long if you... If you don't... It seems to take a while. Damn it, I'm gonna need that ammo. What the hell? That it was out. That's some stupid shit. <coughs> okay, but with that said, we're almost done, so don't worry. Just a little more longer. Extra life! Alright, now I got three lives again. Yeah, they're generous with lives at the very end. It's like they know they accidentally made this stage a bit too hard. But I don't know why I'm struggling though. I never, I, I've hardly ever died. At least I have hardly never died once here though. Kind of weird. I blame the let play curves. God damn it. Go up. Mission four complete. Um, I don't know if there's any more. I mean, I'll check that one, but then we'll move on. Sorry, I'm just trying to kill time. Turn. Turn now. Turn now. 
Ah, you were just stalling. You knew you, were, you had the goods. I'll take this right now. Came a little fuel. What is our next objective? Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapon. Nuclear weapons plant. Armor 500 protected by two radar stations. Excuse me. Destroy the madman's nuke weapons plant. Nuke weapons plant. Nuclear weapons plant and cooling towers. Capture his his nuclear scientist before any bombs are built and shipped to the bomber plane. I didn't realize how many typos were in this game until now. It's like, damn. Oh, uh, well, at least it's not like saying gradual or like congratulations or some bullshit. Like a letter, like an extra L or a different U or some place where it's not it's meant to be. At least it's not like that. Unlike, unlike an older or or basically almost every NES game. Okay, not every, but you know what I mean. All right, so we gotta find those radars. There's one to the very bottom of where the plant is, and then there's one to the left of it. Taking those out will get rid of the danger zone, and you will be good. I wish they would point them out, though, but... Get to explore, waste some fuel to find it. Alright. Alright, we're good to go. Let's go assault this nuclear plant. Be careful, there are a lot of croco lark lap la fish. There are digs, whatever they call them. Shit, I'm out of ammo. So let us grab some ammo. Alright, let us finish this up. Let him fire. Fire two, let him fire again. Oh. Oops. Fire four. Fire three, let him fire. Find out you're out. Good. There's oil there if you need it. Get your hydras on these. This is ammo right there, so we're good. Maybe another. Oh, wait, no, not right. Just right. Alright, go back and grab the ammo and then lay the smack down on this shit. Mainly want to use the hydras and hellfires for the cooling tower because those take forever. These little, I don't know, silos, I guess. You can use, like, a few missiles and, like, mostly your minigun. Then just spam your hellfires. Destroy the nuclear plant. Look at the, gl look at the green glow. What are they doing in there? Making monsters. No, no, they're messing with nuclear material. As a kid, I, I think when I would get to the least this year, because I used a Tenko cheat, who looked like that, something like that. And pause it for a screen. A few nuclear bones were shipped to the bomber. The madman will try to reach the bomber. You think you're lucky I don't punch you. Alright, now we have to do the usual power station thing. Um, destroy the power station which protects the Batman's fortified presidential palace. This will weaken the enemy's weapon. Enemy field. Alright. Um, I guess I'll grab, I'll grab the armor. So I don't lose it by getting hit. My god. What a bad place to put the armor pickup. Should be ammo on the way over. Good. Oh, I still got three people with me. We could have dropped them off and got the armor refilled, but whatever. I'll keep my people. 
Man, I wish that wind would shut up already. I apologize for that. I'll try to make sure that doesn't happen again. Alright, so you know, just dodge and attack. Not too hard, was it? We do leave behind ammo, so... Spam your hydras and pick up the ammo. If you got hit, there's some armor right there for you. So what is our next mission? Presidential Palace. Madman's Presidential Palace. Armor a thousand. The mark... The, the, the madman is hiding in his bunker below the Presidential Palace. Destroy the palace, then drop off your co-pilot to capture the madman. He'll lead you to the bomber. Alright. Let's go capture this madman now, shall we? <laughs> I mean, nothing. Or this, is, this part could be a bit tricky if you don't know how to dodge too good. There are a lot of those cross tiles. Uh, I need some ammo. Luckily, there are a bunch of buildings that do contain ammo and fucking health. I wanted to say something else. I wanted to say, um... I wanted to say quick wrench. Quick wrench. Lost on my god, I'm before he was able to strike that. Now what's up? Three, three missiles, that's what's up. Wait for them all. Alright, there's ar armor pickup if you need it. Coax the building, co coax him to shoot the building for you. And that should be everyone. If you want to see what's in the other buildings, go right ahead. Hey, an extra life. Alright, so what you want to do is grab the fuel last. Alright. Now just spam everything you got. Because you're surrounded by enough ammo, so. And then land. Bye, Jake. All of a sudden, it's. A trap! A trap! It was a trap! It has been captured and taken to Mad Mad, to the Mad Mad's bomber plane. It is APC. Do you know what that means? Nuclear bomber plane. Destroy the Mad Mad's nuclear bomber plane. It, if it is allowed to take off, the weapon will be armed and Mad Mad will begin World War III. Stop him now. Alright, you ready? We're at the fucking climax of the whole game. The final fight. The, the brawn against brawn. I don't know what else I'm trying to say. Um, grab some ammo before you head off. I wish the wind would shut up for this moment. <laughs> Stop, I, don't, I didn't want to waste my missiles on that. That was my fault. Alright, so we gotta go to the mad bomber and rescue our co pilot. We gotta go rescue Jake. Be careful because you can shoot your co-pilot and he will die and you have to restart the whole thing. And you do not want to restart the whole thing. Alright, so fire some missiles, blow the plane open. Alright, so then Jake comes out and you're supposed to pick him up off the wing. Be careful though, if you're rapidly firing you will you might could accidentally shoot him. Get closer because if I hit, get any closer I'll bounce off. As shown. Get on! Damn it, Jake. Suck. I picked him up. Alright, this is where you spam missiles at him tr and to stop him. Damn, that was not part of the plan. So 
pick this up. Hurry up before he gets away. If you spam it fast enough, you can stop him. That said, he is dead. He's like, I'm gonna get away. Ah! He's like, bitch! Don't get away. Goodbye, I don't wanna die right now. That's retarded if I die after the boss. Then again, I do know someone who has died after the boss. Indestructible, huh? Now what? I blew up his APC. It said not to try because it's indestructible. Did you lie? With that said, let's head back to the frigate and let's get out of it. Let's finish this game. That was it. That was that was the final boss, if you will. So spam a bunch of missiles and hellfires, and he's gone. But we rescued Jake, we killed the Mad Bomber, we saved the day. Let us go home and go to sleep. Uh, I'll eventually reach it. Alright. And lamp. And lamp. And that was it. We did it! Alright. We gotta listen to the good news and then we'll have to listen to that bad news and then we'll get the credit roll. And I dropped something. Nerds? I gotta get rewarded for the ATV being destroyed. And that's it. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You will go down in history for saving the world from a ruthless madman. Oh, thank you. I've never for a moment doubted you would succeed. You've earned a well-deserved vacation. Have a pleasant flight back home to the States. Oh, thank you. Whew. I like how he's pointing around, though, as if something's happening. With that said, um, the co-pilot, not you, but Jake, Get a handshake from President Bush, I guess? I wanna say. And, well, that's it. There's the presidential... theme. I really should know that song. I apologize. That was it. There's a shit. Return to the Gulf. And yeah, that is you over there. Kind of like, nodding your head down or something. Pulling like a... Uh, Pokemon Red guy, your trainer Red, John Manley, and Mike Paulson designed this game. But yeah, I guess that is Bush and what, Laura? No, no, that's Barbara. Someone's gonna correct me on that, watch. And the dog, there's the CIA guy, or Secret Service. I don't know, man, the Secret Service guy looks like he has like a robotic eye or something. It's kind of creepy. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I, I had, it was pretty interesting. I had fun. I wasn't expecting to die a lot though. But this was a pretty fun game I played as a kid. But like I said, I didn't make it that far. I would only make it like halfway to the, to like stage two, and then I would die. And now I actually played it, beat it. I can honestly say this was pretty good. I can understand. Oh, and special thanks to you guys, the viewers. Thank you for watching. I can actually see why this game got like 90s and and high reviews and like bestseller. It was a pretty cool game. I liked it. The cast call. I guess people actually dressed up. It's one of those Mortal Kombat type of things. I guess you could say. Let's see what a um, electronic art studio and Sant Mate. Soon to be a major motion picture. Really? Not. Nah. The developers of the game would like to express their appreciation to the men and women of Desert Storm. See, they still appreciate, I mean, show their appreciation. The end. Dog, oh, don't pee on her! Oh, God. I should freeze frame that before. <laughs> Anyways, so the dog pees on her or something. <laughs> so, like, um.
Yeah, it was a pretty cool game. I, I enjoyed it as a kid, or somewhat as a kid. I kind of got frustrated at it because I kept on dying. But it, it was a pretty cool game. I enjoyed it. Like I said, it got a little bit of flack for being released after, you know, Desert Storm, or yeah, the Gulf War. But that's something compared to nowadays things. So, it's a pretty cool game. You guys should check it out. Um, it's probably... Well, like I said, it's on the Game Boy Advance, so... Unless you want to eBay it off of, like, you know, for, like, the other systems. That's the only other place I know where it is, is, um, on the Game Boy Advance. Or that's the only place I know of its recent release. Actually, no. The other recent release is actually on the, on the PlayStation Portable. It's part of a compilation set, so... I apologize if I said it was only on the Game Boy Advance. It was also on the PSP for a compilation. I don't know if that's any good, though. Oh, and I also forgot that this game was also inspired by Choplifter. Um, I don't know if you guys heard of it. I've never heard of it either. But, um, apparently it was inspired by that. It's flying a helicopter and rescuing people. But would I like to see an actual remake? Like, an actual freaking full-on 3D HD, either HD remake or a full-on, like, remake to the point where everything's 3D and everything. It'd be pretty cool. I actually would like to see that. Like, I can see it as well, like, just take your frostbite engine, use the helicopters in Battlefield, um, spruce them up a bit so that way they're easier to control, because those things are hard as hell to control in Battlefield. And then, or, like, have, like, different controller settings so that way it's either easier to control or a little bit harder, or hardest, where it's, like, more of a realistic helicopter. And then add in all the mechanics that you have in these ga in this game, or those ga or all the games in the series. I think you could do it. They just don't want to do it. It'd be pretty cool. I would like to see that, though. But, with that said, I guess that's all I can really say about the game. Like I said, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. Takes a while to get used to, yeah, but... But, yeah, but with that said, we're gonna be... The next time we'll meet in the, guess the Strike series, would be Jungle Strike. It's it's sequel to Thunder Thunder <laughs> fucking Thunder Strike. <laughs> it's sequel to <laughs> Desert Strike, which honestly it is like five ten times harder than this game. Not only are you forced to stick with the above, con I mean you no longer have the above from above control, which is like the e like I said the easiest control. You're stuck with either momentum or from the cockpit, so... And on top of that, there's a lot of missions that give you instant mission failure, so... That one might be kind of hard, but... I'll do it, eventually. Uh, that's later on, though, so... It's not gonna be like, oh, right away, no. It'll, it'll be next, don't worry. It'll be sometime soon. Or sometime later on. But I'll definitely do it. But... Before I let you guys go, the next Let's Play we'll be doing... Or... DLP we'll be doing is... Kirby Adventure for the NES, but I'll be playing it off the Virtual Console. But with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this. I had fun doing this for you guys, so have a good day, wherever you are, or good night, good evening. Take care. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and I am, and I am Donut. Pleasure was mine to let's play for you guys. Catch you guys around. See ya.